Hello, this is Demon Lone with Cops of X. I hope you're doing well today and you get some good trades. This afternoon, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand has left rates unchanged for the New Zealand dollar, also known as the Kiwi, at 2.5%, which is equal to the Aussie dollar. Now, this makes the Kiwi one of the strongest of the major currencies against other currencies, and it could potentially become the strongest if the Reserve Bank of Australia moves forward with their consideration of easing the Aussie dollar to stabilize its high exchange rate. Now furthermore today we heard from RBNZ Chief Wheeler that he sees overnight interest rate on the New Zealand dollar potentially higher with a possible rate hike in March 2014. Well, this could see that Kiwi dollar become the strongest of all the major currencies in the world. With that being said, what are traders to take away from the RBNZ's hawkish stance and the potential rate hike in the New Zealand dollar? I got three scenarios I want to cover with you today, but before I do that, let's take a look at what took place when the RBNZ came out with their interest rate. Now, no one expected the rate change. They expected to stay the same at two and a half percent. What they were looking for was maybe a little bit of dovish comment from the RBNZ similar to like the RBA but they're, we're not getting that what we're getting is hey we like a strong Kiwi dollar over here in New Zealand land and we could see it go even higher to stay along with our inflation targets well that caused a big jump as you can see right here in the New Zealand dollar and it jumped up about 50 pips and now it settled down about 25 looking at the crosses uh, the Euro Kiwi here it went down about 70 points now sitting here about 25 30 pips below the pound kiwi now it had pretty much given back a lot of its gains from overnight but from the announcement it dropped nearly 90 pips almost and selling right now about 30 35 pips below that and the aussie kiwi it too dropped and it dropped back down to some previous lows uh, down in about 35 pips or so and we could potentially see that continue to go lower so what are we as traders to take away from this I think there are three scenarios to look for number one we're gonna look for buy setups to go long the Kiwi dollar that's the first thing we're gonna be looking for so if I go out and take a look at the daily chart and let's take a look at what I thought we might see in the uh, Kiwi dollar first off I saw back here kind of a shoulder, a head, a double knotted shoulder here and what I was looking for literally was a head and shoulders pattern and looking for the market to come back down uh, towards these lows back here which would have taken us back down to right around that 7850 area maybe lower down to 78. Well, I don't see that happening with a stronger Kiwi dollar. I see the potential that we move back up. Well, where to? Well, if we take a look at this just a little bit closer in, you can see that there looks to be almost a cup and handle type look. That right there suggests an upward move. So where to? Where do we see this potentially going higher to? Well, if I take my fibs and go from this high point, that swing high, to the swing low from the daily perspective, we could see this potentially get up back towards 85, 0, 0.5 in the Kiwi. Now, again, a lot of traders are looking for the potential opposite direction. So near term, there's a possibility that we see this push up another 250 points or so and then could potentially go even higher. you got to look at this even further out. If we go and take a look, I think it's on the weekly chart. Yeah, the weekly chart even shows a cup and handle. Let me show it to you right here. You can see, you can see it pretty clear right there. You see that? you see the handle right there that's a cup and handle and it represents a bullish upward pattern that's what we're going to be looking for so if we simply look at this swing high to the swing low and I talked about a moment ago an intraday perspective we could see it maybe in the ballpark of 85 let's see where we go to now from a weekly perspective now it pushes up here closer to 89.50 up towards 90 in the Kiwi now if we take a look at the monthly, I want to point something out to you on the monthly. Make note of this. You see these three higher lows? See we had this low. Actually we got four higher lows because we had this low point and four higher lows right there. Take a look at what we have in the same period. I'll just kind of draw it across here. Look what we have right there. 
higher lows in price, lower lows in the Traders Dynamic Index, this represents hidden divergence. Guess where we go to with hidden divergence? We go up. So there's a possibility that we could even see this push higher than the 90 mark. Now I don't want to get ahead of myself, but if the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is looking for a potential higher rate in the New Zealand dollar, so let's say they go to 2.75, well, there's a good possibility that a lot of institutions are going to be looking to trade the New Zealand dollar, especially from a carry trade point of view, against the yen, maybe even against the dollar, based on our low interest rate compared to the high interest rate. And the possibility is to see strength in the New Zealand dollar and see it go higher. So long story short, number one, we're going to look for uh, buy opportunities in the Kiwi. Another thing you're going to look for is when we get back down to the Euro Kiwi and the Pound Kiwi and the Aussie Kiwi, we're going to look for continued weakness. So if I go out and take a look at this on a weekly perspective, you can see that we've been kind of back and forth here in the Euro Kiwi, kind of range bound. We could potentially see it roll back down here and test these lows back around the 60 area. As far as the pound kiwi, we come out and take a look at what we have here on the daily perspective. We've seen this strong upward move like so. You see that upward move like this. We could see the market break this low here and come back down and test this trend line here. And looking at the Traders Dynamic Index, you can see that it's broken the trend line. You can already see there that the market baseline, the yellow line, has been moving up, but current sentiment is breaking the overall market sentiment. We could see this slide back down, retest that 96.20 area, and continue to slide down lower towards these previous lows, somewhere in the ballpark of about 91.50 area. And when we take a look at the Aussie Kiwi on the monthly aspect, I talked about this the other day in a video where I thought that this could possibly be the trade of 2014, if this falling knife over the last 14 months has been falling, when it finally hits a floor, we could see it bounce back up, kind of like what it did back in this area. But even just a bounce of about 500 pips would be a pretty strong move off the floor like it did back here. So it could move eventually all the way back down towards that 105, 106 area if the RBNZ maintains their hawkish stance with a future rate hike. Last but not least, we need to consider the Kiwi Yen. Up to this point, when you consider risk on, risk off scenarios, the market, for the most part, looked at the Aussie Yen as the risk on, risk off carry trade. Basically what I mean by that is, you buy the highest interest bearing currency in the world, you sell it against the lowest interest bearing currency in the world, and you take the differential. So 2.5% on the Aussie dollar, 0.1% on the yen, the difference on that, 2.4%, less than any transactional cost. These firms that are doing these large carry trades around the world, you're looking at two and a quarter percent, just parking your money. Well, what could eventually happen is the New Zealand yen overtakes the Aussie yen as the risk on, risk off carry trade. In other words, the primary carry trade, having been the Aussie yen, becomes the Kiwi yen, especially if the Reserve Bank of Australia cuts the Aussie interest rate. So if you take a look at this on the Kiwi yen, on a weekly perspective, we can see that it has a target in mind. That target is up there around the 86 area. However, you see how it has this double bottom? You see how this is rising up? We could see this potentially go higher. So if I simply run from that high to this low, and we break, we could eventually see the Kiwi Yen push back up above the 90 mark and challenge the 91.35 and possibly continue to move up all the way to 94 area. So three aspects of the New Zealand higher interest rate. Number one, look for longs in the Kiwi dollar. Look for shorts in the Aussie Kiwi, Euro Kiwi, and Pound Kiwi and look for risk on the market to trade the Kiwi Yen over the Aussie Yen. If the Reserve Bank of Australia starts easing and considering a lower possible interest rate on the Aussie. This is Dean Malone with CompassFX. Hope some of this information will help you, especially long term when you're trading the Kiwi dollar. Y'all make it a great day. Get some good trades. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.